Today, in this video, I'm going to give you a comprehensive walkthrough of the Philips Hue app, so stay tuned. Hey enthusiasts, my name is Kyle Wright and I'm your smart home butler. If you want to be educated, empowered, and informed about smart home technology, then hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get notifications about future videos. So let's go ahead and get started. So on the home screen of the Philips Hue app, you're going to see all of your rooms and zones. Rooms are physical rooms within your home. Zones are basically subgroups that you can set up with lights from different rooms, different areas. Doesn't necessarily have to be in a specific room. I'm just going to kind of show y'all briefly. I'm going to go here to the living room. So here we're presented with a color wheel. It's really easy to turn the lights on. You can either toggle the lights with the little switch in the top right hand corner, or you can just start dragging your lights around. Um, you can select the group of lights and remove lights out and have lights be different colors, um, which is really cool. Um, you also have the ability to uh, do some of these presets. There's relax, read, concentrate, energize, just some presets that come with the Philips Hue lights as well as you can see the individual lights here. We can toggle um, each light off individually. Um, if we want to, so that's a really cool feature. Uh, when you get lights where you want them to be, you can add a new scene. So here, I'm just gonna add a new scene. These lights are where I want them. So I'm gonna sit here where it says tap to enter, and I'm gonna say rainbow, because it's a couple of different colors here, and I can hit save. And then now, when I hit save, you'll notice that rainbow is one of the presets for this group of lights. So if I go out and say I go to the master bedroom lights, this is gonna have a different set of scenes. So you can really customize different rooms and different zones to have particular scenes. So this is really kind of the main front area. So we're gonna go over to the routines tab now. Uh, this gives us some options that are really helpful in automating your lights in your home. Probably one of my favorite features in the Philips Hue app. Uh, the first option here is home and away. So this is going to basically uh, figure out, put a little geofence around your home so that based on your cell phones that has the app's uh, GPS location, the lights can turn on and turn off depending on when or, or when not you are home. And so this is really great. You can set coming home. So you can have it, what lights do you want to turn on when you arrive at your house? And then you can also say when you're leaving home, I want all the lights to turn off. I want some lights to turn off. You can really customize this any way you want. Uh, one note is to make sure that location aware is turned on and that within the settings in your phone, you're always allowing locations in order for this feature to work to the best of its ability. I did make a video going in more depth about the coming home and leaving home features. So I'm going to set that in a card up above. You're more than welcome to check that out for a more in-depth look at what this feature does. Wake up. I absolutely love the wake up feature on the Philips Hue app. I use it every single morning uh, to wake myself up. It turns my lights on gradually. I can use this to uh, have my lights turn on certain days at certain times. I can have as many wake up features as if I want. So if I want a different time to wake up on the weekends and the weekdays, I do have the option to do that. Um, I can select what rooms, areas, lights we want to turn on, as well as how long we want those lights to stay on. So I don't want to have to remember in the morning to turn off the lights on my nightstand. So it's set to they automatically turn back off at eight o'clock because at that point I'm already at work. And another great thing is the fade in feature on these lights makes it seem more like a natural sunrise. I actually made a video about setting up this feature. I'll go ahead and pin that in a card for y'all to check out. So we're going to go to go to sleep. This isn't one that I use, uh, but I've heard that some people really enjoy it. 
Uh, some people have a hard time remembering when they need to go to bed. And so you can set your lights to slowly start preparing you to go to sleep. Very similar to the wake up routines. Um, it fades your lights out and lets you really have control over um, what lights are gonna slowly dim to indicate, hey, I probably should go to bed. So this is a great feature if you tend to stay up too late and you lose track of time, you'll definitely wanna check that out. The other routine sections is just places where you can build custom routines. I have one where certain lights in my home turn on when the sun goes down at sunset and then they turn off within about a, a 30 minute window on uh, the evenings. And so this makes it look from the street that I'm home, even if I'm not. I really like how with turning the lights off um, in the custom routines, I can set an adjustment amount. Um, so here I have that set for 30 minutes. So it's saying here, plus or minus 30 minutes at 10 p.m., we're gonna turn the lights off. So tonight, the lights might go off at 9.53, whereas tomorrow night, they may go off at 10.07. So this is really great for randomizing those times to, uh, you know, especially if you're on vacation, make it look like there's some random activity um, with the lighting, and it's not always going off right at 10 o'clock. This is a great feature to keep your house safe and basically mimic the presence of somebody being home. So then we also have timers. You can use timers for all sorts of things, whether you want lights to blink when you know 10 minutes has passed because you're cooking something for dinner, or you need a timer to remind you to take your medication an hour after you've eaten dinner. Um, you can set up timers to basically do different things with your lights. Um, and so let's say here, 10 minute timer, we wanna control all the lights in the house and what do we want those lights to do when that timer uh, goes off? So we can do a blinking light effect or we can change to any of our default or light recipes that we have pre-configured. So this can be really helpful if you're you know, a senior citizen or someone that needs reminders to take medications or um, to do things like that on specific time intervals. So the last one on here is from other apps. So if you have any sort of automations set up in say Google Home or Alexa or you know any third party applications, then this it'll list out basically what those applications are um, so that you can have a better idea of what's controlling your lights. This can be really helpful if you're trying to troubleshoot why your lights keep turning on or turning off you know, without your consent. So great thing to know. So now we're gonna move over to the Explore window. There's a lot of really cool features that we can do with Philips Hue. So the first one is Friends of Hue. So this is just gonna give us a list of different applications that are built to work specifically with Philips Hue. Um, so we have Amazon Alexa, HomeKit, Google Assistant, and Microsoft Cortana. So all four of the major voice assistants can work with Philips Hue, which is awesome. And then we get some automations like with uh, if this then that, uh, smart things, you know, Logitech. There's a lot of different options here. If you have Razer products, if you're a gamer, you can set up your lights to uh, correspond with your Razer products. Um, that, that can be really cool if you're a gamer, um, something that I, I love. Um, different switch companies, so Lutron. I have a Lutron Aurora in my son's room. That's a little dimmer knob that goes over the existing light switch absolutely love that product i did a video about that i'll put a link to that in the card above so check it out and then we're going to back out here is apps we like so this is basically any third-party apps that um, use philips hue that um, could be potentially helpful so this can be really nice um, i've used a couple of these different apps my favorite is probably the hue dynamic because I can um, set up hex codes to work with lights. 
Um, currently, Hue does not support entering hex codes, so that is something that you can do through the Hue Dynamics app. I did make a video about this, so I'll also link that in the cards if you're interested in that. There's a lot of really cool things you can do with Philips Hue in regards to your entertainment, uh, whether that be watching movies or playing games, having those lights sync up. If you have a TV that supports HDMI, then you can get the Hue Play uh, HDMI sync box. It's a pretty new product for Philips Hue, but allows you to sync up your TV with your lights. Also, there is a desktop or computer application called HueSync that you can also use, as well as if you have Razer products um, or you're a DJ, there's light DJ. So there's a lot of different ways that you can get the lights to work with your movies and your music and your games and, and whatever else. So this is a great feature to have. So now we're gonna talk about Hue Labs. So really this is basically an area of like pre-made routines or different settings. There's all sorts of things in Hue Labs. So for Halloween, you know, I'm recording this just after Halloween. So there's a lot of living scenes for Halloween. We can go through here and browse all formulas. Um, and there's just all sorts of, you know, outdoor living scenes, you know, if you want to support your team, if you're watching football, that could be really helpful. Um, personal wake up, there's a lot of just really cool features that you can get out of Hue Labs. So there's so much stuff here. I'm not going to go into depth on that. But if you really want to take your Philips Hues to the next level, this is a great place to start to find different opportunities and options that you can use with your lights. Also, I really like how Philips Hue has a very comprehensive how-to video library. They have quite a few different videos for a bunch of different uh, scenarios that you might come across. So I highly recommend if you're new to Philips Hue to check out the how-to video section that has been very helpful. And then there's also a what's new section. This is where Philips Hue will put, you know, any updates or anything like that that might be coming to Philips Hue or, or has come to Philips Hue. Um, so it's a really good way to keep up with what is happening. Last but not least, we have the settings. So you do have the ability to control your lights out of your home. Um, you do have to set up a account with Philips Hue. Uh, it's pretty easy uh, setup, you know, email, password, typical, you know, information uh, for setting up an account. And you can connect your bridges. Here in the settings is where you're going to configure everything. So we can start with rooms and zones. Here you can create different rooms, different zones. This can be really helpful. Uh, one thing to note is that a light can only exist in one room but can be a part of multiple zones. So say you have a room where you have a bunch of different lights and you want to sub group lights, zones is a great way to do that. So also in the, the light setup, light setup is really easy in the Philips Hue. You just hit add light and then you basically have to make sure that the, the new light bulb is powered on and then you have to hit the search option here and 99% of the time it's able to find the light no problem but they also allow you to add it via serial number which is written on the side of the light bulb so that's definitely something to know about so accessory setup is where I set up like my Lutron Aurora uh, dimmer switch that is in my son's room I also have a Philips Hue dimmer switch that I have in our living room. And so really this is a place where you can configure those accessories, set the buttons to do what you want them to do. Um, I am a really big fan of the Hue dimmer switch. It's a great product for the house along with the Lutron Aurora. So check those products out. And so really this is just configuring all of the setups for your different accessories. It can be very helpful. Friends of Hue switches, so this is where my Lutron Aurora is going to show up since it is not specifically a Philips Hue product. It is a Lutron device. But I've had no problems with it interfacing with Philips Hue 
and it gets done when I want it to get done. So, you know, don't think that just because it's not a Philips Hue product doesn't mean that it's not going to work well with the app. Um, definitely worth the investment and I want to get more from my home. You could also set up different power on behaviors. So let's say you have a power failure or you know you turn your lights off at your breaker box. This basically tells the light, okay, what are you gonna do when the power comes back on? Um, or if you flip a switch off, um, a lot of people you know still have switches in their homes. So this will, you know, you can tell it either want it to turn on a specific scene, you want it to go back to its previous configuration. So um, for like my son's room and our master bedroom, I have it set up to um, basically power loss recovery. So it's gonna try to go back to whatever was used last. So that's really nice if it's, you know, 2 a.m. in the morning and you're trying to sleep. You obviously don't want your lights to come on full brightness if your house has a power outage and recovers from that. And so this is really good for like the bedrooms, you know, in places where you're going to be sleeping. Entertainment areas. So this is kind of going back to the, the movies, gaming and music. Um, you can actually configure different entertainment areas. You can create an area here, select the lights that you want to be in an entertainment area. Um, recommended is just the really the color lights, the ones that Philips Hue feels is going to perform the best with entertainment. So I'm just going to hit continue. And then when I say lights are ready, then I can just drag these little bulbs around to find where I want them to be in relation to the TV and my sitting area. And by clicking on each of them, their ceiling height, ground height, and TV height. So you do have three different height options, which really gives you a much more immersive experience. And so once I've done that, it's going to have you test the lights, make sure that they're configured at the right heights, that they're doing what you want them to do. And then once you say, hey, this is working, this is, you know, this is doing what I want it to do, then I can just move forward. And it's just going to go through this testing process. So this is really a good thing if you um, are wanting to use entertainment. So there are widgets for the Apple Watch. Uh, you can set up different configurations to control your lights from your watch. I don't find myself using them that often, but it is kind of a cool feature to have if you don't have your phone near you and you want to make a quick change to your lights. You can configure and create different widgets for both your iPhone and for your Apple Watch. So whenever I go over to the widget screen here, you'll see that there is a couple of different options for me to uh, control some of my lights. So that can be really nice um, to have that there. And then uh, HomeKit and Siri, really you can control your lights with HomeKit and Siri. Um, this is basically just configuration settings for uh, all the different lights, accessories, rooms, and basically how you're going to control that using, uh, using Siri. And then obviously any software updates, the about section, as well as setting up your advanced settings, like your home location, when your sunrise and sunset is. So obviously your location is going to be very important to getting accurate sunrise and sunset uh, times. So this is definitely something to configure as well as you can get different updates from Philips Hue about the products that are coming out. So question of the day, what features do you really like about the Philips Hue app? And what features do you not really care for or think could use some improvement? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. I want to engage with my audience and make sure that I'm providing videos that are meant for y'all. So just let me know below what your thoughts are. I hope you found this content helpful. If so, take a minute, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you can get notifications about future videos. I hope you have a wonderful day.